Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today I am here uh, for you with the virtual class on paragraph writing. So far as uh, paragraph writing is concerned, it is one of the important uh, uh, features of the uh, creative skills, creative writing skills and uh, paragraph writing from the point of view of the examination is uh, very important uh, for us to learn. Before we come to writing of a paragraph, let we know what a paragraph is. There are so many definitions of the paragraph. And what I have chosen, the definition one which I have chosen, may be quite intelligible for we people. I say, or I have taken the definition a paragraph is a distinctive unit in all prose writing, in all prose writing. usually marked by an indentation of the first line and indentation of the first line. Let me again read the definition of paragraph is a district unit in old prose writing usually marked by an indentation of the first line. Here note the point usually. Usually an indentation of the first line. It is not always necessary for a paragraph that the first line should be indented. Now from the point of the view of this uh, definition, it is a, we say it is a descriptive unit. Imagine a book in which the matter is not divided into paragraphs. We feel uneasy and we feel tired also after going through 10 or 12 pages of that book. So we write in district units to avoid monotony or we shall say about them. Dear students, second aspect from the point of view of this definition is indentation of the first line. The first line or the indentation line marks The unit of thought and following lines concentrate on the very unit of thought. The indented line, the first line, marks the unit of thought on which we are, and the following lines are strictly connected to that very unit of thought or concentrate on the very unit of thought. Or that particular idea marked by the indented line. A good paragraph makes meaning, makes clear the meaning of this idea or topic by elaborating, elucidating or illustrating with examples. So from the point of view of this definition, you came to know that there, there is an indented line, there is a marker line and the whole paragraph is uh, uh, concentrates on the idea of that very line. There are three basic requirements of a paragraph. Uh, as, uh, I, I should say like this, the three basic requirements of a paragraph are unity, and number two is Coherence and number three is adequate development. Adequate development. We have with us techniques and devices 
to put these all things in a paragraph. We have devices to put unity in a paragraph. We have devices to put coherence in a paragraph. And we have the devices and techniques to make an educate development of a paragraph. So far as the unity is concerned, the discussion or description of one The, discuss the discussion or description of one theme, subject or topic, termed as core idea of a paragraph. There should be only one theme, one idea. All the sentences should be related to that very idea. That we call the core idea of the paragraph and that is the unity and Every sentence in a paragraph is connected with this core idea. The sentence is, is called the topic sentence. Remember it. Remember the core idea uh, is indicated by a sentence and that sentence we call the topic of the sentence. Sometimes it is also called the key sentence and summarizing sentence or it is also called the theme sentence.